morning guys happy monday and it is a happy monday for us it's scorching hot outside the air conditioning's on the puppies are okay well actually the puppies are doing much better cookie and macy are fine they're bigger and healthier and stronger and they're hardly even touched they've been sick for sure but they're holding their own toby on the other hand is just as fine as they are but he's so skinny and it worries me and i know that he's just gonna come through it like they came through it but i still am worried for him close the door girlies good morning morning guys morning guys so we are headed down to the store to get some medicine for our dogs just to make sure that they're feeling okay and of course you know when you're like seven and ten you can't go anywhere without your phone and your purse so gabby's got her phone sophie's got her purse a lot of you guys have it's never my purse a lot of you the a lot of our subscribers are new gabby show them your phone case gabby made this case all herself isn't it adorable i took a picture of balloon and then my dad printed it out at his work yeah and then she made that she's so creative i don't it's know where you like get it an iphone because like Picture, but then white part and white part. Yeah. I so what kind of phone. so what kind of phone do you have? Samsung. Um, Samsung Note Four. Samsung Note Four. What kind of it's phone a, do you have? It's Samsung a piece of junk Note phone. Two. No, it's an awesome phone. What? I think Samsung Note Two. Yeah. It's a piece of junk phone because it dies at like forty nine and fifty percent. Right. So her phone is kind of a piece of junk because she needs a new battery. So and then it only charges with one charger. Same with my iPad. So it only yeah. charges my. It's my old. It's charger. my old phone. I have a iPhone, a newer iPhone, and so we just give them our old phones. I think she should be grateful just to have a phone. Thumbs up if you think she should just be happy to have a phone. Do you think you should just be happy to have a phone? I'm getting your old phone, so don't crack it. It's scorching hot outside. Girls are hanging out inside. I feel like I want to go swimming in the pool. Some of you guys have been worried about our sunburns, but actually, we did not even get really a sunburn yesterday. I did not get a sunburn at all. Gabby like. never gets a sunburn. Let me see your back, sister. Yeah, it looks like a sunburn, but it's, well, it's kind of a sunburn. It is. Yeah, but does it hurt? <clears throat> did it hurt? No. I never are you grouchy from lack of sleep? Tell me. Tell me the truth. This is not the girl that I know and love. <laughs> Sophie is acting so much like Gabby lately. I don't know what's happening, man. Anyway, Hi. Gabby is just setting up to make her own video. And Sophie is not coughing. Hey, put it up to you. <laughs> okay, <laughs> anyway. Um, uh, Gabby is setting up to uh, make a video. She's doing it for her channel. She's making the barn for her schleich and she's going to show you guys exactly what to do. And I guess I need to find some ingredient or some ingredients. Is that what you call it? Uh, wooden some things that you need. Yeah, she needs wooden dowels. Anyway, uh, we have a lot of new subscribers every day. I feel like I need to say that. So welcome to, whoops, welcome to all you new subscribers. Some of you guys have probably never seen our craft cupboard. I'm gonna show you right now. But don't judge because it's a little messy. And here it is, this is where we keep all the puzzles and some of our toys, some of our games, and this is all of our craft stuff. Some of our homeschool stuff, this is our homeschool bucket. All of our craft stuff. It's actually not as messy as it used to be. I've been trying to keep it clean. So the Gabby needs wooden dowels. We were downtown at the exact store that sells wooden dowels. And wouldn't you know it, she didn't mention it. But now, I don't think I have any. Gabby, I don't think there are any wooden dowels. You gave me like five last night. Like, oh, when I did it. I might have thrown them out though if you just left them laying. Any in there? Nope. Wow, what just happened there? Did you just put that away all on your own? Mm. <coughs> yeah, I did. Yeah, <coughs> normally that does never happen. That's why this room is such a mess usually. What color should I do my barn? All right, what color should she do her barn? We also have um, paper that looks like a barn. A pastel color. So white and... We also have all of these things in our playroom, these buckets here, and I usually have a bunch of papers in here that actually look like 
barn. I'll show you what I mean. So uh, these are the barns that we've made in the past. I just showed them recently, but these are the barns that we made in the past. And this is the kind of paper, wood grain paper that we used. I think she should use that. Why don't you take this and, and see how you could paint it? See how you put the white and then you put a little bit of brown and stuff? You want to use it as a guide? No, because I want it to be matching colors for my barn. Oh, so you want to make it to match your barn? Our house uh, is filled with boxes. Just do um, white and put in pink and green. Okay, so she wants her new barn stall to match this barn, right? Standing here spying on the dogs outside going to the bathroom and I see a normal poop, hard, regular a poop. Oh, thank goodness. So at least Macy, who started the whole virus, is, is doing much better. They all are doing much better. Toby's still super skinny, but I'm not getting any poop or any puke in the crate today. So that's super good. Uh, Cookie still looks a little sick. She was the last one to get sick, but she was the least amount sick. Toby, because he's so tiny, he looks horrible, but he seems like he's doing better. He's got energy, he's playing, he just looks so skinny. Come on, Macy. Come on, Toby. Come here, baby. Come here. Ugh. Poor Toby doesn't come in on his own. He always needs somebody to carry him. And he seems like he's doing much better. Are you doing better? Are you doing better? He looks so skinny. But I have to tell you, when we got Toby from a puppy mill experience, he was so skinny. And when we first got him, he was like afraid to, um, he was, he wouldn't eat for the first couple of days after we got him. So he, so he got really skinny. The same amount of skinny as he is now. If he doesn't eat for a day or two, he always oh, looks deathly. Why? What's happening? I need a camera soon. Ew, look at that. Sylvie almost sat on a huge spider. Why does Gabby need to go to bed? Because ah. she said, don't even dare touch the glue gun. Don't even tear, dare touch the glue gun. You know we have more than one glue gun, right? Yeah, but ah. the big one is the only one that walks. All right. No rest for the mamas when it's summer vacation. All right, Gabby is ready. Gabby is ready to start her video, so I'm gonna hand the camera to her. All right, I feel like I just got our bathing suits washed from the weekend. I feel like I've been doing laundry all morning. It's two o'clock, the height of the heat. And I'm excited because I'm going in the pool. Let's go. Whoa, wait, 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 where's this? Where's the sun? Where'd the sun go? What are those clouds? It's not hot anymore. What? I can't even believe this. That, this is insane. Close the door, the air conditioning's on. I can't believe this. I'm still getting in the pool. Are you still getting in the pool? I'm still getting in the pool too. We might get rained on again, but that's so crazy. It was literally, I went downstairs in the basement to fold the laundry, and it was so hot and so sunny out. And now, that black cloud is headed our way. Man, and the wind is picking up. We might be swimming in a tornado. There's even clouds over there. See it? Like that looks like a tornado for sure. Right, here comes Girly. Girly number one, ready to jump in. Is Sophie coming too? All right, are you getting in first? I think so, where's my dog over there? I don't know. Did you leave them in the car? Probably. And I'll believe this, you guys. I'm gonna maybe just vacuum. Dipping. Girls are gonna skinny dip in the middle of the afternoon. Skinny Hopefully dip. nobody's skinny in these dip. houses. It's pretty private back here, but yeah, I can't believe. Oh, it was so hot outside. I'm so excited to go swimming. I was waiting for the girls to finish their project that they were doing, and then it, the sun is gone. The sun is gone, <laughs> Sophia. I'm getting skinny dip right now. I'm getting naked. Okay, so the last time I skinny dipped, which was uh, Saturday night. Um, guess what? What? Um, when we were getting out, I put my bathing suit on backwards. Yeah, that was so funny. So when they were done with skinny dipping, they all put their bathing suits back on before they got out, and Gabby put hers on backwards, so there was no top, <laughs> right? There's no top. 
to go over the top of her. Can you guys hear the fender? Yeah, we're good. Oh! <laughs> Run! Run! <laughs> Run, Sophia, come on! <laughs> <laughs> well, you can't go in until you get dry. Get the towels. Quick, go get the towels. Go get the towels. <laughs> okay. No. Okay. Whoever's wet cannot go inside without a towel. So. Well, the towels are inside. No, go get them quick. Get them both. <laughs> I just took the cover off, and that thing's gonna get filled up. <coughs> oh, guess what? You're like, oh, here comes more thunder. Rain, 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 rain. <laughs> oh, yeah. I thought yeah, I was on the ladder. So there's Gabby's barn. She's making. <coughs> You're doing a good video. Yeah. All right. Well, I'm gonna leave you to it. But people are gonna be like, hey, when you started this video, you were wearing <coughs> clothes, or you're not showing yourself in the video. I'm showing myself in the video. I'm not standing by the spider. Oh my gosh, I forgot about the spider. Right, bring a shoe, Sophie, so I can kill the spider. Bring a shoe. Look who's looking better. You're looking skinny, but you're looking better. Look at her eyes, look funny. Mm -mm. Look at her neck. Yeah, look at her neck. Like her collar, like you could stick like literally your hand. Yeah, but she doesn't look as bad as Toby, Mommy, and they're getting so much better. Huh? Girls are having some lunch, and Toby's over there sniffing it. He's like, I smell something good. They've been eating their food. No it. more puking. No thanks. No, thanks. Don't no more puking, right? I feel I feel like we're at the end. I feel like they're getting better. I feel like they lived through the worst the flu they've ever had. Yeah, if he wants it. No. I see Macy. She's like, give me the food. No. They're ready to be better. He's walking, he's licking his lips. He's like, give me some of that. Oh, yay, that's a good sign. He's never done that before. No. Oh, wow. One thing about him being from a puppy because mill is it. that he learned not to trust people, and he he has never been one to eat food from us. So if he's taking food from Cookie, Cookie, come here. Cookie, no. No, Cookie. Cookie, let him have it. So if he's taking food from Sophie's hand, that means that he's hungry and he's ready to eat. He's back. He's never done that before. No, so happy. I'm so happy that they're better. If you guys prayed for us, thank you so much for praying for them. So it's not hot anymore. It's freezing cold out here. It's 16 degrees, 16 degrees. Cold, I'm cold. But it's supposed to be 27 again tomorrow, so we're keeping the air on. And we're headed out. We had a th bolt of thunder. And with a bolt of thunder, we had a roar of thunder, a bolt of lightning, and then all the power went off. So when you don't have any power and you have nothing to do, go shopping. All right, we made it to the store down the road and they have power, so we're gonna get a few things that we need. Like, Dad, this is good. So when you have like dog teeth, so like a bed, and you just want to take a couple and then put the necklace on and stick <coughs> dog treats in here. And then when you That's a necklace so you can drink. Like you always wine. have a cup when you're thirsty. Let's go get what I need to get. Too small. Too small. They need to be longer. No, they don't. I measured. They're the perfect size. Why are they going through the wood? Oh, yeah. Dad, we're we're getting, we're getting these. No, we're what else do we need? I'm in the mood to make. I'm in the mood to make cookies or something. So I'm going to look for that. 
Muffins or cookies? Brownies. Or brownies. Oh, make brownies. We are at our next door to see if they have the longer ones. Oh, oh this door is automatically opening. Those are small. These are them, they're longer. Told you. Hey, we found what we needed and we're off to go home. All right, guys, the girls have found a mouse and they're determined to catch it. Guys, it went on my mouth. I put it in that net. It went on my foot. It went on your foot? It on your foot and it's right underneath the car, so now I have to move the car. We start it first. Maybe it'll come out. So Sophie goes and throws the bucket at it. What the? How are you supposed to catch something like that? Eh? All right, let's find that other bucket that I'm looking for. Put it on top. Are you ready? Go. Okay. You guys, we caught it. We'll show you what it looks like. There we go. Let's see. He's so fluffy. Oh, this is a magnifying glass. Where is he? In there. This is a bucket with a magnifying right glass, and he's like huge in that thing. But there he is. He's tiny, he's a little guy. Okay, come on, Gabby. All right, I'm go show your mom, and then no. we're letting it go. I'm gonna let the sucker go somewhere else. Maybe I should feed it to the crow. Oh, well, that would just be mean. Got it, and we're gonna let it go. You have to both let it out. How about you open it since you're a scaredy cat? Look at that cute little thing. He's cutie. He's pretty tiny. <coughs> no harm except for Sophia throwing a bucket right on top of it. Yeah, we're gonna let it go right in the corner there. <coughs> we have to both let it go. Oh, there he is. <coughs> He's all camouflaged. He's, there he is, right there. We should have kept him. He's right sleeping. There. He may have sustained a bucket injury, but we let him go. And, uh,. <coughs> Hopefully those wild cats will eat them. How about that? Free food for the wild cat. All right, you guys, it's time to end the video, but before we do, we're gonna do comment of the day. We're in Gabby's room. Gabby's getting massage on my hurt knee. Okay, so we want, I wanted to address the hate, some of the horsey hate on our channel. So Scarlett Martini says, at 1545-ish in the vlog, I heard the girl say that her goal was to buy and train a green horse. Please ignore her. She should know as a rider how incredibly dangerous and idiotic that is. That puts her in so much danger she'll end up in the hospital. What do you think about that? Rude. So uh, Gabby's goal is to tr learn to train horses. And so when she's a grown up lady, she wants to be able to train horses. And I don't think there's anything wrong with that. Gabby's not saying at 10 years old, I want to learn how to train green horses, right? Right. Right. So uh, I just wanted to say, you guys, a lot of time I find that hate comes from not knowing what we mean. So I'm going to try always be, I'm going to, we're going to try and be. Explain it. We're going to try and explain more because you guys are watching the video often and taking what we say out of context. Gabby didn't mean she's going to do it at 10 years old. Gabby meant that that's what, that's her goal. That's like her dream when she grows up. Avery Allen says, let's be real. These girls are not very experienced riders and shouldn't be planning on getting a horse anytime soon. I've been riding for five years and I still don't consider myself ready for a horse. I recommend you talk to their trainer and see what horse is right for them or even if they are ready to get a horse. There is a lot more to owning a horse than just riding or playing with it. Even though they ride, they may not be fully educated on having responsibility to own a horse. Please, no hate. I just want you and your kids to be safe. Basically, we want a horse for, we want a couple of horses. We wanted them for our family. It would be crazy for us to buy our 10-year-old and our 8-year-old a horse and expect them to take care of it and be responsible for it. That's insane. We would never ever do that. Not in a million years, but we would buy our, our girls horses that we could have as a family and they would be our family pets, just like our dogs and our cat. And there are so many ways to have horses, you guys. Not everybody 
does horses the same way it is perfectly okay to buy horses and learn about them as you go it's 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 an alternative we know you guys just want us to be safe and we appreciate it so much but in the end we are going to buy the horses that we want based on how we feel and based on when we and think that we're ready and we appreciate all the comments we really honestly do because i have learned so much from you guys like now i know i definitely do not want appaloosa <laughs> You want an Appaloosa? <coughs> it was never my plan to get one. Yeah. Anyway, that I is it that. for addressing the hate. We love you guys. We're sleeping with the dogs tonight? Yeah, and that's the yes. good news. We're sleeping with the dogs yes! tonight. Yes! <laughs> They're so you? much better. There have not been too much of a mess in the crate today. They have been eating, they've been drinking, they've been walking around. So I think they're ready. Toby's to been growling. Toby's and taking growling. food out of from us. Thanks for watching guys. Please click the icon above to watch other videos and a this and a mystery video that you might have missed out on. Bye! And don't forget to make sure to hit that subscribe button down below.